So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our tutoring webinar this afternoon. My name is Kate Goujon from the Sales Enablement Team at Pearson. Unfortunately, our Head of Tutoring, Melanie Williams-Brown, who was due to present with me this afternoon, is unwell due to COVID. But we have Michelle Watson, our School and Tutor Relationship Manager, who is looking after the chat today. So feel free to add any questions and thoughts in the chat, as Michelle is our Pearson Tutoring Guru. And what she doesn't know about our tutoring programme is really not worth knowing. So before we, I'll just let Michelle just say a quick hello before we get started. Thanks, Kate. Um, clearly uh, an act to follow now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'll be here in the background. Do drop questions into the chat um, and we'll get those answered for you as we go through today's session. Great. So thanks, Michelle. So before we get started, we do have a couple of questions that I hope you don't mind answering so um, that we can get a feel for our audience today. So if you wouldn't mind answering this, uh, filling in the quick poll that we're about to put up. And uh, while that's displayed, I will talk you through the agenda items. Thanks, Jerry. Um, so this afternoon, we're going to have a quick talk a uh, quick look, sorry, at the evidence that we have drawn from last year's programme, demonstrating the impact of small group online tutoring. We will take you through the different tutoring funding options available, then highlight some of the myths that we commonly hear in our conversations with schools, provide you with a quick overview of Pearson's tutoring programme. We will also hear from a teacher who will talk through their experience of the tutoring programme so far. And we should have time for some questions at the end, but as we've said, please do feel free to post in the chat as we go along. So thanks ever so much for filling in the poll there. Um, and I think we'll get started. So this afternoon, we'll have a quick look Sorry, I need to move on my slide, sorry. After almost a year of running the Pearson tutoring, we have monitored the impact of our small group tutoring. And we would like to share with you some of the evidence to date showing the significant impact of the programme to date. We believe that as providers of qualifications and resources from five to 19, we are in a unique position to provide our quality tuition from highly qualified UK based teachers. And I really can't emphasize enough the experience and quality of our teachers who are trained in online tutoring and will work in partnership with your school to understand the needs of your students and report back on their progress to you. Well-trained teacher tutors have an increased impact on outcomes, but please don't take my word for it. We have case studies and links to the substantial research highlighting the benefits and positive impact of small group tutoring on the website. And the links will also be shared after this webinar. As you will see, the increase in average initial assessment scores was significant last year with more than 67% increase following the program. This was reflected across most, was reflected mo across the most disadvantaged students, seeing a massive 90% improvement for year six pupil premium children. And it's been fantastic to see the increases in learner confidence, understanding and the engagement being reported. So this slide gives you, shows you the overarching progress and the increase in assessment scores before and after the tutoring across all subjects, key stages and regions. To give you a snapshot of the impact at subject level, we saw an 88% improvement in maths assessment score and 51% in English. And you can access the more detailed report demonstrating the impact of our tutoring on request. So moving on to the tutoring routes this year, we this year there are three pots of funding available for tutoring. The National Tutoring Programme continues for a second year under the management of Randstad. Pearson are continuing to offer tutoring with this route as one of the approved tuition partners. With the National Tutoring Programme or NTP route, 
70% of tuition costs are covered by the NTP. This is a slight reduction from last year's programme. And the other key, stay, key change to this route this year is that 65% of all students taking part must be eligible for pupil premium. For the 21-22 academic year, an additional pot of funding has been ring-fenced and paid directly to schools to support the provision of school-led tutoring. The amount of funding schools receive is calculated based on the number of pupil premium students a school has on roll, and it's been calculated to cover 75% of the cost of tutoring. With school-led tutoring, you have the option to use any external tutoring organisation, whether they are an approved supplier or not. And you may also use to choose your, to pay your own staff using this money. I've put a link of further detail of the school-led tutoring where you can also see the allocation for your school. But in general, a typical primary school of around 200 pupils would expect to see 6,000 pounds. Pearson has tutoring options for both the NTP and the school-led route, and our team can advise you specifically on how best to make the funding work for your students. Now, there is a third route, which is the academic mentor route. Um, this isn't something that Pearson are doing, but I just put a little bit of detail in the slide for you, um, just so you've got that information to hand should you need it. So we are aware of some of the mixed messaging and confusion surrounding the school-led tutoring. So to bust some of the myths, if you like, the school-led funding can be used in addition to the subsidised national tutoring programme funding. We are finding lots of schools are actually putting their pupil premium students through the NTP route and then using the school-led route for other students who have been disadvantaged. Schools can't use the school-led grant to fund the non-subsidised portion of the NTP tuition, though, which is that's something we're quite commonly asked. So you have to find that additional funding yourselves. For the NTP, only approved suppliers can be used. Pearson has been approved for a second year, as we've said, and you are able to order NTP subsidised tutoring directly from us. For the school-led route, any external tutoring suppliers can be used. Now, there has also been a recent change made to the NTP, which wasn't um, the case when it launched for the second year in September, um, but that is that there are now no restrictions on the number of students receiving tuition, and they're, they're no longer limited to receiving only one block in one subject. The quota of students using NTP must still be made up of the 65% pupil premium students, though, whereas there are no such quotas via the school-led tuition route, as the funding is not just for pupil premium students. The NTP subsidy rate for this year is valid up until the 31st of July 22, and also any unspent school-led funding will be returned. So this year, we are offering tutoring across years four, five, and six for maths, English, and reading. You can book tutoring in units of one block comprising of 15 hour long sessions. For Pearson's direct to school, the, the teacher-student ratio can be one to one through to one to three in a session. For NTP, the ratio must be one to three unless the school provides written send statement and only then can they have a one-to-one -one tuition, tutor ratio, sorry. Our online sessions are supported by Bramble, our tutoring platform provider. Bramble's cutting edge technology allows both the tutors and students to talk, sketch and share their resources in real time across the devices. So it really feels like they are in the same room. I've put a link into a teacher and student walkthrough for you into the slides, as well as a tutor explanation of the Bramble platform effectiveness and some best practice tips as well when using it. All of our tutors have access to a wide range of Pearson resources and lesson plans from our Active Learn and Tutors Guild materials. We provide full lesson plans with learning objectives, starter activities, main activities, and ideas for a differentiation. All our student-facing starter and main activities are 
optimise for sharing on screen via the Brambles platform. And there is sample content and lesson mapping available on the website, which is also linked here. Subject leads really should look at this mapping in detail prior to starting tuition so that they can select which areas to cover and support the allocation of students to their groups depending on the chosen content. This slide shows you an example of the intended tutor model. We offer pre-tutoring diagnostic tests, which should be beneficial in the support of the selection of students and prioritization of subjects offered. Although you don't need to use it, it's just something that we've put available should you wish to use. We have also built in an introductory session to support with the school tutor handover. Although there is the flexibility for schools and tutors to adjust how this handover process takes place. The same is the case for the pre and post tuition assessment. Some schools prefer to administer these away from the suggested slot, allowing more direct teaching time. Our teachers feedback at the end of each session via the Bramble platform. Schools can access this feedback via an individual student's online room. Um, and I, sh I should mention as well that all of the hour long sessions are recorded for safeguarding purposes, but Bramble's new smart search function means that a student can actually revisit their lesson and search a particular keyword. Um, and it can actually will take them to the point of the lesson where a concept was taught. Um, this is a fantastic feature to support reinforcement of the learning and, of course, to aid revision. I have a couple of short clips to play for you from a teacher who used our programme last year to talk about the impact it made at the school as well as on their pupils, followed by some student thoughts. So I'm just going to play these now and hopefully they will play OK for you. We always do extra tuition, particularly with our year sixes. Um, in the term before SATs, we would always do some small group tuition on top of normal lessons. And this has allowed us to not do that because we would have done it anyway, even regardless of there not being any SATs, um, just to give them a push ready for moving to comprehensive school. And so that's taken quite a lot of workload off me as the class teacher because I always plan it and the other teachers in school deliver it. But it's also meant we've not had to put that extra pressure on staff because we've used the online tuition instead. Um, parents were a little bit weary to begin with, if I'm honest, um, because this we started our tuition while a lot of the children were still working from home and so that was a little bit of a concern for some of our parents more to do with technology than anything but I think that once they realized how straightforward and easy it was to access the tuition um, the parents love it they you know, obviously because at the beginning of the program they they were there they were in the background um, watching the tuition um, and we were starting to get questions from parents of children who haven't been picked wanting to know if they can have it as well um, so yeah it's a really good sign that how the children must be going home and saying how beneficial it is to them as well and um, it's worked so well for us that we've rolled it out to our year five class as well so that we can um, really push some of those children as well and the parents again were, were really pleased that their children had been picked um, so it's been really successful for us we've, we've uh, thoroughly enjoyed being part of it. It's made a big difference. The main thing that's come across within the classroom is their confidence. Um, I think that they are much more secure with the blocks, the areas that I've chosen, particularly with maths. I think that's probably the one that is more noticeable. Um, we've done all of the fraction blocks with tuition and then we've, when we've come to do the actual fraction work in class, their confidence and their skills and just the way they can manipulate with fractions has improved dramatically. Um, with the English tuition, it's been their grammar that's been the real change. Um, they've done a lot of grammatical work with their tutors 
and when I ask for examples of things the, the children who've had English tuition are really with it and switched on now um, and it's just really consolidated everything that we've done in class this year and because of the pandemic and the children missing some school it's for, I feel like they're not far they're not as far behind as they might have been without it um, but the confidence is the biggest thing definitely they're just they're flying. <laughs>
Bramble's high-tech platform to ensure a highly engaging and interactive online experience, not to mention the smart search tuition. The feedback, handover support and progression reporting that you get, full visibility of the, the impact that the programme is having. Now, I haven't really mentioned much about our school onboarding. Michelle, who's managing the track for us today, leads up the experience team and the speed and agility of her team in supporting you to get up and running, as well as the ongoing support is second to none. You really can be up and running within a week. Our tutoring booking system is also very flexible and our availability allows you to schedule the sessions around what fits best with your school and the programme structure and content is adaptable to meet individual needs. To articulate what sets Pearson apart from other providers better than I ever could, I will play you a short contribution from Sharon Haig, Managing Director of Pearson Schools Qualifications. I think what really sets Pearson apart is that we have this pool of experienced and trained teachers that work with us to delivering the tutoring services. You know, they're incredibly reliable, they're all very experienced and I think what we're seeing as the tutoring really starts to begin to happen is, is having that trained teacher really does make a difference to the effectiveness of the tutoring. So I've added some useful web links for you in this final slide. I would encourage you to have a look at the evidence detailing the impact of small group tutoring. And if you are considering booking tutoring with Pearson, the booking tips and our tutors top tips will be very useful. You can also arrange a one to one meeting with one of my sales colleagues to discuss your needs in more detail. They would be happy to advise how to maximise your funding pot this year and, have, and you can have a more in-depth conversation regarding the programme, best practice and next steps. Or if you feel you're, you have enough information and are ready to order, the order form link is listed in here too. And I think we're going to put both links in the chat for you. At Pearson, we are always looking at how we can best support schools across the country. So we've asked thousands of, edu thousands of educators about the challenges they face and what their priorities are each term. So again, please do have a look at the latest primary insights report and subsequent support in place based on your top priorities. So Again, if you would be so kind as to complete a second poll for us, this would be very much appreciated. I'm sure that Michelle has been answering all your questions in the chat, but are there any additional questions or common themes coming through, Michelle? Thanks, Kate. Yeah, um, the only one that's unanswered at the moment is, is there an opportunity for teachers to access online resource materials from Pearson via a hub to support? Is this included in the overall price or additional? Um, the answer to that is the materials, the teachers are provided with the overview of what's available, but not the actual lesson materials. And um, they're used by the tutor in the sessions. What teachers do have access to is recordings of each session after it's taken place. So the teacher has access, the student has access, and the tutor has access. Yeah, and on top of that, the tutor will, if there's any um, additional work or themes, then quite often they will send through or email copies of any lesson content or structure that's needed, sometimes in advance of the lesson as well. Um, so there is a real emphasis on sharing as much information as possible, isn't there, Michelle? Absolutely, yeah. And if, if a school particularly wanted to have access to all the resources being used, they could discuss that with their tutor and they could be emailed. So are there any other any other questions you're seeing come through in the chat? No, I think that's it. Um, Jerry shared the uh, the links. Brilliant. So, well, in that case, uh, thank you. I think we're almost uh, on time. There's probably I can give you five minutes back of your afternoon, so I'm sure that will be appreciated. Um, but thank you for your time this afternoon. I do hope that the session has been useful and um, please do reach out if you have any further queries surrounding anything that we've discussed in their webinar. 
in the webinar and uh, ha have a good evening everybody.